Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So now that we're in the engine room, let's head back to Gold Leaf Galaxy. And let's get some more stars, because we're probably going to get through most of this world now. Starting off with Cataquack to the skies. They're back. Again. And about time too. So, let's take care of them. They're not as bad as they were in Super Mario Sunshine. I mean, they were not that bad, but they're just a little bit, a little bit crazy at times. My pet Cataquack chucks me into the air wherever, whenever I want. Wee! That's my favorite Wii game. My my pet Cataquack th throws me into the sky. Wee. Um, so we need to figure out where we're actually going now. Probably just to follow the Cataquacks. Oh, don't run me over. Ah, uh, that crazy creature will throw you into the air. I'm tired of flying. Can't I just get catapulted into the sky? This strange life form is actually native to that planet. Okay. Well then, let's get this Cataquack to launch us into this Sling Star. And let's figure out where we need to go. Well, we should probably take this Bee Mushroom since it's here. And combining it with the Cataquacks would be probably smart. Okay. Up we go. All the way up. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go. I think it is, because I can get up here. So let's ground pound this switch. And let's go this way. There's the launch star. Just gonna grab some of those star bits, and let's go. Okay. We lose our power. So let's get the Cataquack over here. And so the rest of this area, I guess, the star, is leading Cataquacks to where you need to be flung, which is... That's alright. We have to actually find the Cataquack and then get it to follow us all the way. Okay, come on. Oh, that's the wrong way. Ah! This way, please. I'm gonna get a coin from this green if I can. Cataquack, please follow me. Cataquack. 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 Get out of my way. <laughs> run, run, run. Okay, over here, and then... Pulling ourselves up here. I managed to mess that up somehow. Okay, and now let's get this Cataquack. One of those Cataquacks where we need to go next. If possible. Oh my goodness, the gravity here is a crazy. And there's the launch star. Oh my goodness, gravity. Gravity. Save me. Save me, gravity. No! Gravity, no! Why? Okay. Up here, and then... There we go. Okay. Off to the next planet, and there's the star, but we have to get all the way up there now. So... Let's find a Cataquack. Get it over this way. I think this is where we need to go. Yes, for the bee mushroom. There we go. Now I think I can just fly up to this tower, maybe. Maybe with a bit more Cataquack involved. A bit closer to the tower. Come on, Cataquack, come get me. Fling. And up we go. Okay, there we go. Also, I think coins also restore your fly meter. Yeah, it does. That's good to know. So if you need to get a little bit more distance, use a, a coin, basically. But anyway, we just need to get across these flowers. Also, I think if we take a hit from an enemy, we also lose our bee mushroom. Which is not good, because we need to be a bee to actually get on these flowers at all. So let's grab the star. So 
So that should be all of Gold Leaf Galaxy for now. So let's go to the next of the galaxies in the solar system. Except there's not a solar system if there's no sun in the middle, I guess. It's just a system. Okay, so the next planet is Sea Slide Galaxy. Going after Guppy. Oh my goodness, it's terrifying. Okay. No one's out beyond this point. That big bully's running all, all our fun. That guy's faster than a torpedo, it's crazy. Are you gonna try swimming with a shell? We came here to find a power star, but there's something freaky in that water. No way I'm going in. You know you can dive with ZL, right? I did know that, as it turns out. This is one awesome loop of ocean, but that big brute is causing trouble and keeping us out of it. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to deal with that then. Toad, what's the situation? So that brute, that's been causing trouble. Yeah, well, I'll teach him. Yeah, you, you do that. I'm sure it'll go well for you. Is there a shell somewhere I can use for swimming? I feel like there might be. And if there is, that'll be good. I can also possibly get to this sling star. Oh my goodness, all the way up here, I guess. Hello. From here, you can see that uh, the ocean is a big ring. Oh, wow. I had no idea that the, the, the ocean was round. But I mean, this is a very cool concept. It's similar to the, um, oh, the level that we've done before with the stingray. Or the manta ray. But it's just a, a, a water level, I guess. But anyway, let's go over to that thing in the water. So we can work this all, all out. Now, who do we have here? You some friend of those penguins? Let's get something clear here. Landwalker. This sea is mine, okay? If you want it back, show me some gills and make it through eight rings. So, we need to follow him and go through his rings that he's leaving behind. It's kind of like the uh, the Manta Ray in Super Mario 64. Also, if we can grab a shell, that'd be good. So let's do that, since it makes going around the water a little bit easier. You can also dive out of the water a little bit with a shell. Okay. Just gonna grab that. I don't think there's any time worries to worry about. Also, I think I nearly fell out of the water just then and it was really close to dying. But anyway, we should be fine. How many of these rings have we gone through? I feel like it's not down to four already. I feel like I should have a lot more than that left. But it's fine. Just gonna dodge you. I definitely gone through all of the rings so far. Three. Oh, that's getting low. That's fine. Two. Probably need to stay back a little bit further from him to try and have the rings appear in front of you and not behind you. And there we go. And that was an uh, that was a complete loop from inside the water. Not bad for a landwalker. Well, I'm a fish of my word. The sea's all yours, buddy. Okay. Ow. I'm fine. New galaxy in the bedroom, and also a cosmic comet. 
and I'm pretty sure that's probably in the level that we just were in. So let's head back into there and take a look at that. Yep. Cosmic Comet in Sea Slide Galaxy. We haven't even had much of a look at this level, but it's already available to us, so I guess that's good. Cosmic Comet in orbit! Underwater Cosmic Mario Race. About half of that is true. Star is over by the lighthouse. And if we can grab a shell, we can probably get there fairly quickly. By going through the water. It's also interesting that um, Cosmic Mario kind of is like um, Shadow Mario, but also... Oh, he grabbed a shell. But also kind of like Piantissimo. I mean, they both have the same laughing animation in Sunshine when they're not doing anything. Okay, let's go through these rings because they make us go faster. Okay, let's go out of the water. And go. Just gonna take the shell because if I throw it, it's gonna take longer for me to get to the star. This one's fairly easy to miss, so let me get that one before he gets here. Probably the hardest Cosmic Mario we've done so far. Although, I guess Cosmic Mario's in general are fairly difficult. Well, there we go. I think I'm gonna go back to the bedroom and get the have a look at the new planet there or new galaxy i need to remember to say galaxy and not planet because they aren't technically i mean they ha are planets but they're a group of planets usually each level okay honey climb galaxy Scaling the sticky wall. I feel like this kind of speaks for itself. We just have to climb the wall. Except there's not just one wall, there's more than one. So let's just go. And this music's pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've heard it already, but I just want to point out that I'm enjoying it. Okay. Need to keep our B-Mario as well, so we don't fall all the way down. The game's been giving me a lot of coins as well right now. That I don't really need. Oh, grab, grab, grab. Thank you. What does this do? More coins! My favorite. Just what I need right now. I like how much of this you can actually just skip over, mostly. Star made of star bits. That's cool. So that was worth it. Oh, grab. I guess the coins are useful if you need to, to get extra fly. But I'm on B. I don't need fly. Oh, so many star bits. So many star bits. Oh my gosh. So good. Also, we have to dodge these now. These meteors. Which I guess is fine. Just get away from me. Okay. See how we go going up this bit. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge! It's been a while since I last fell in a black hole. Although I did fall in a black hole the first time I saw one, so... Guess I can't really say that much about it. Oh, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. Go fast. Fast. Okay, let me actually pay attention to... the meteors and not just focus on the star bits for a little bit. Okay. Okay, get over here. Then, I guess I can just go straight to the la launch star. And grab some more star bits from all that. Very nice, we have 220 star bits from this one level. And now we have these enemies here again. 
We can mostly ignore them though. As long as we don't get attacked by them and get hit. Oh, get on there, please. Oh, this is bad, 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 this is bad. Oh, grab. Okay, good. You're running out of fly meter when you're not on one of these platforms is kind of bad. Especially when you are on one of those platforms and it still doesn't count. Because you have to grab in the middle, not on the edge. Otherwise it has trouble because it pushes you around. Let me see if I can get up here. I can. Just keep going up. Some big one of these things here. You don't want to kill them because it's fairly difficult to get them and uh, and if you don't get them over one of the the platform sticky bits, you will just fall because you're touching the, the wall. So anyway, let's grab the star. Galaxy complete. And I might actually check the map again, just quickly. Hello? Oh, of course, here's the map. Okay, no comments to worry about. Let's head back up to the engine room. If I can. There we go. We can also see there's a another thing up here. We can't do that yet because we haven't done the um, the enemy base of this dome yet. So let's see what we have left in this world. Let's go back to Sea Slide actually. Faster than a speeding penguin. Starting at a different point this time. And we can probably guess what we have to do already. Today, Penguin Races, challenges welcome. There's also, over here, a shell, but also this thing that's being built by this toad who's hitting it with a pickaxe. I'm not sure how that's helping. It's going to take a while to get the cannon ready. Hang on. Okay. Well then, let's go over to the, these penguins over here. Wanna race? <laughs> that's exactly how penguins sound, right? Wanna race? Talk over to this this fancy one over here. We got a penguin race starting here soon. Want in? Sure. All right. This race is on. So that's all it is. We can't keep the shell that we grabbed outside, but uh, we can grab a new one in here. And remember, spinning. You can just keep spinning infinite, in, <laughs> infinitely, basically, just to go quickly. Also, need to make sure we keep an eye on our air as well. Okay, let me go this way, I think. If I can. I'm not sure if it's saving time, but it's definitely a little bit of something, I guess. Now, just going through this replenish my air. No, that hurts. Okay, so we need to dodge those. Cool. I understand now. I will keep that in mind. Grab that bubble there if I can. We're almost at the end though, somewhat. The end isn't at the start of the level though, so we have to go a little bit further. Let's go. My, I don't think it's going to be faster going on the land, so I'm going to just keep on the shell in the water. Let's go. Speed. Grab the speed. But anyway, let's just cross the finish line. Goal! 116, nice. Use your gold medal, champ. Okay, thank you. 
What's the Captain Toad's here? Let me see what Captain Toad's up to. Just what what walking around. A power star? Guess he was gonna say something else before the race, possibly. But well, we found the power star, so we're just all good now. That's probably enough for that galaxy for now. Well, let's go to the next one. And we also have 45 stars, which means... New galaxy. And Hungry Luma has appeared. And... Well, I was actually wanting to say... We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Got the next enemy base ready. But first, we need to go to the next galaxy. Between that, which is Toy Time Galaxy. Probably one of the coolest levels in or galaxies in the game. Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. Me Mecha Bowser again. That does not look like a Mecha Bowser. I don't want to be rude, but I do that, do 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 that doesn't look like Bowser at all. Like, it has the spiky chain thing around its neck, and that's about it. Welcome to the Toy Time Galaxy. We, Gearmos, are in charge of upkeep and maintenance here. Welcome to Toy Time Galaxy. Also, hello, Captain Toad. Whee! So, yeah, this place is pretty interesting. Very creative looking. Lots of colours. I think it, this is the only level that this much colour on screen could work for, probably. Let's look around here. We've also got these Mecha Coopers here, which you can ground pound on. They also breathe fire, so careful of that. Uh, anything over here? Oh, a 1-up. Just right there. This feels very open in this game, right now. Being able to get up here. Our friends are trapped over there! Okay. Well, so that's the, an interesting thing I want to quickly mention. Uh, this is a lot less open world, I guess, than the other two Mario games we've just played. It's a lot more linear, I guess, with its levels. But I mean, it's 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 great as it is, but an open world galaxy game, I would... Oh, that would be amazing if they ever make a Mario Galaxy 3. Scrap those fire-breathing turtle things with a healthy ground pound. Okay, I'm gonna go down here if I can though, because there's also this thing here. I don't think I was meant to go down here just yet, because I'm thinking I'm I'm supposed to unscrew that and then go down, because it leaves a hole there. Can I actually get over there by like? No, I, I don't I don't think it's gonna work. But oh wow, I was not supposed to be here at all. Oh, I can't get back up. Oh dear, this was a mistake to jump down like that. Let me... Let me fix my mistake. Oh, I don't know if I can. Mario's trying to readjust himself, which is weird. Oh, get up there. Oh my goodness. Get up there, there we go. So let's unscrew that for real this time. So that we can actually use that hole to get back up and down. Because that's useful. And let's keep looking around. If you see a bolt, give it a spin! Okay. Also, these... Platforms we have gravity are also really cool. Little pink ones. Pink? Yeah, pink. Screw that in. Stop that from moving. And let's unbolt this cage. So we can get into there. Which we can kind of just get across by jumping, so. Grab all the star bits. Now it's time for something different. Once I actually get a little bit further forward and grab this coin. Because we have a spring mushroom. You've transformed into spring Mario. Press B at the right moment to bounce high. Boing! So yeah, now we can jump really high. 
where if we jump at the right time, or we can bounce around with a little bit of weird controls. It's a little bit, like, it's difficult to control, but it is all right once you get used to it, so. Just keep bouncing around. Oh my goodness. I need to not worry about these question mark blocks too much. Okay. So we have to bounce or jump when we hit the ground to bounce higher. I can't hit those blocks right now. Let me just leave that then. You also have to be careful when you're next to a wall because you'll automatically bounce off of it if you go into it. Oh my goodness. And of course spinning does not work at all now. That's it, to the skies! I think it was trying to tell me how to bounce really high. But I did it too quickly because I was trying to get rid of the enemy. Here's another spring mushroom. Oh, Mecha Koopa. Okay, let me go over this way, if I can. Please land up there, thank you. And then in this pipe, if I can. We still have Spring Mario. And now, let's just bounce our way up here. Trying to break as few blocks as possible. And if we make it to the top, there's a coin up there. If we grab it, it turns all of the breakable blocks into star bits. So that's why I was trying to break as few as possible. Anyway, there are also platforms that stay there after you hit the coin. What's this music? I just want I mean, it's just the Super Mario Bros. theme, but also, I like it. Also, the Mecha Bowser does have a turtle, a spiked turtle shell as well, apparently, on its back, but you can't really see that from much, like, from many areas of the game, of the galaxy. Oh, just go, just go, okay. Let's launch star, which means we have to lose our, uh, what's it called? Our spring power. Okay. These are some big chunks of rock. Some more over here as well. I guess I should be using Spring Mario to break them, but you don't need to. If you had to be really high up to ground pound through them, maybe that would be a more obvious thing, but we don't, so let's just get up on top of this bottle and ground pound here, so we can launch star to the next place. Which looks like it's gonna be the Mecha Bowser. Okay. The ground here is a treadmill, so we have to be careful as it moves. Let's on let's screw that in. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up, get up. Go through this pipe. Which takes us to the other side. And let's Lock that in place. And let's sling star to the next position. And let's unscrew some more of these pieces. I really like being on a gigantic thing in this game. Like, um, Mega Leg and this. Just like giant, gigantic robot planets is really cool. Anyway, let's go into this hole here. Go through this pipe. That platform does just break after a bit. Okay, and let's get onto this. Go this way. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up there. Please get up there, don't fall off. Let's go across here, and let's unbolt this arm. And quickly jump through this launch star, because that arm's going to go away forever now. Kind of don't want to die. Okay. Spring Mario. If we fall down, this pl this elevator's here to help us. Well, let's try and get over here. Take you out. I'll dodge the fire. Let's go up. And dodge the laser. And then, let's ground pound these blocks away. And there we go, the whole thing's gone now. Pretty much, except for the treadmill at the base. Which is a shame for these guys, because they're stuck running on this thing forever. I don't know if they're going to say anything. You did it! I guess we owe you one. It's so hard to actually read their text from here. Since we have to bounce all the time. 
You gonna say something? I thought... He thought. Thought we were done for. No, you still are. You have to be on this treadmill, and if you run out of energy, you're kind of in trouble. Good, good, great, good job. Well, there we go. And that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.